like them. Oh, I scared it away. Where'd it go? I think it's gone. I think it likes these flowers. It's like sticking its little beak in those. That's kind of neat, actually. I was actually trying to bring monarchs here with that flower. But these are the hugest ones. Actually, now that I'm out looking at these, my garden is coming away a long way. But these things were my plants inside. Look at the size of them. I didn't know they were going to get that huge. Like, if I stand up to this one, it's actually, I'm five foot two, and it's actually almost, it's like probably five feet. I can't believe how huge they are. Next year I might grow them again though. So, I'm on holiday, so just now that I'm out looking at butterflies, like they're so huge. But it's starting, I tried to clean up a little bit this morning. They've got beautiful flowers on them. They were just like this little seed that I grew in the spring. But it's looking better. But those are huge. I wouldn't be able to put them there next year. That was not that one I got, that nice pretty orangey color one. Those are so big. These ones I started from seed. I love the colors of those. Those, the hosta didn't do very well there, so I'll actually move them next year. But look at the size of those I started from seed. They're huge. That one I bought. Those little marigolds I bought, but I never planted them in time. But those ones are like so humongous. I moved those ones, which I, I moved them out into the sun because they're on my back deck because I thought they had a beautiful, pretty color. So I put one on each end. I think they're really nice. These ones didn't turn out very well. I won't buy them next year. I don't know, they just seem to not. I cut them off and then they probably have some more in there. But those ones are beautiful actually. I think they're beautiful. I'm just cleaning up on my day off so I didn't plan to show this. My clematis didn't do well this year. I moved it again. These flowers are, they're just too big to be in the front. I bought that one just a few weeks ago. Blanket flower. Those ones I started from seed. I just stuck them in there. I didn't know what they do, but they're coming up. Just, they'll be pretty. And that one. I should trim back those flowers and then maybe it'll bloom again. They're going to be huge next year. My Shasta daisies. I don't know. I had a hanging basket here. I'm wondering if it had too much, didn't get enough sunlight. I might have to move the Shasta Daisy. That hosta came. I moved it and I moved that one back. I may move that one back there. I don't know. That came up really nice though. I 
my hanging baskets. They took a kicking in the heat. We had lots of over the summer. I tried to keep them water, but look at the size of these. Like they're they could go on maybe my back wall because I don't have anything there. But maybe next year I'll do a few of them, and then I'll stick them on the back there. They're hardy things. Oh man! But the butterflies, the monarchs, I guess, like them. That was kind of neat, actually. That started this whole thing. Got all my little hens and chicks, and those ones I started from seed. They're not doing very well, but it looks like they're going to come along a little bit. I moved my hanging basket here, just because it was up in the front, and I don't think it was getting the sunlight. I don't know. It's covering my... I love this hosta. It's one of my favorite, but this is overpowering that one. But I love this. I love the leaves and the texture on that. But I won't put a plant here next year. These ones I started for seed. I don't know what they're going to do. And those ones are huge back here. I just put them in little pots from the dollar store. And this one was actually... I, there were two... I think they were $1.99 for just wildflowers or whatever kind of flowers. And they actually put them in this pot and they actually have done pretty well. They bloom and I cut them back and I don't know, it's just a basket of flowers. There's some pretty little flowers on there, some pretty colors. I actually like these ones actually. And these, just the little purple ones. They almost look like forget-me-nots, maybe they are. Might as well walk around. My hostas, I was trimming them back, those little things that come out. They're starting to... This is a cucumber, and I just thought it was dead. But actually, it came back to life, and there's like a lot of little things. I don't know if I'll get any cucumbers out of it. But it actually survived the transplant. I didn't think it would. I don't know what that is. I think I started those from seed. I'll find out. i to trim that hosta back. I got this one, and I forget what it is. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like. And... In doing that, there was actually a tomato plant. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's definitely tomato. It must have been in there from last year. They're not annuals, I don't think. I can't believe it started again. But it is actually an actual tomato plant. Because you can smell it. I don't know, maybe it won't seed, but I see little things right in there. I don't know, weird. And then this pepper I got, or this squash, I actually just planted a seed from one of the squashes I bought and I thought it was gonna and then I transplanted it I thought it was gonna die off it may I don't know I put it there and then my mess garden here which I was gonna put those other flowers next year maybe I've got my fern in there and then these things I gotta pull all them and that's about it so it's coming I've got to trim on my holidays it's so nice out though <gasps> there's the monarch back <gasps> oh my gosh it just came back I love monarchs Bring your friends. There it is over there. I love the monarchs actually. I will plant these again just to bring monarchs back. I don't know if these are like a sunflower, but the monarchs, I guess they really like them. Well, I mean, it was only one monarch, but one monarch is better than none. Alrighty. Have a good day.